doing okay despite everything that's going on. I know staying home might be something that's new and unexpected for a lot of you and that's totally understandable. For today's video, I came up with a list of things you can do with your dogs at home. For a lot of you, this can be a lot more hours and a lot more time at home with your dogs and it can be distracting, especially when you're trying to work. So these are just a few tips and tricks on how you can keep them distracted and exhausted so that you can get some things done. So first things first, of course, is going on walks. And although most of the governments are advising us to stay home, you can still go outside to walk your dog and fresh air is gonna be good both for your dog and for yourself. Just remember when you're outside that social, keeping your social distance is extremely important and the recommended distance is at least two meters or six feet from another human. So if you cross somebody, a good advice I would give is to either go from the sidewalk to the street if the sidewalk is really narrow or just cross to the other side of the street to use the other sidewalk. Walks are extremely important, especially during this time. I know it can be tempting to just stay cooped up, but fresh air will do you some good for sure. And also it will do your pup some good all the time. Uh, we take her kid Milton on walks twice a day and it's crazy what a walk can do to your dogs and as soon as they get home they usually tend to pass out because they, they got some fresh air, they got some exercise, so it's really good to keep them mentally uh, stimulated just to go sniff things outside and then when you get home just make sure that you clean your hands, you clean the leashes that you have just to be sure that you're not bringing in any viruses. The second thing you can do is to play indoors, of course. And aside from the usual toys that your pups may love, um, like tugging on rope toys, playing fetch indoors is always a great thing. You guys know how much Morgan loves to fetch, so we love to take her balls and just throw it around in the house and play fetch back and forth indoors. It's very important to keep a healthy routine and physical exercise for your dog, so make sure that you keep doing that. Other than that, just make sure that you take regular work breaks here and there to play with your dogs. Another thing I would suggest that's really fun is to try out new toys such as DIY toys at home. You have no idea how a plastic bottle such as this can trigger your dogs, okay? I'm going to insert some footage of Herky playing with this and it's really a big trigger. So this can keep them distracted for a very, very long time. Also, if you have just some uh, plastic bottles at home, like the water bottles, you can squish them up and when they make that really crinkly sound, you can stuff them in an old sock. And that's a brand new toy that your dogs might really enjoy, especially since the sock will smell like, like you. So it's something that your dogs might really enjoy. Another indoor toy that you can try out is a snuffle mat. And so if you have a sort of foamy mattress or any sort of cardboard and some old rags, you can cut those up and make your own snuffle mat at home. Those can be very stimulating to your dog to just sniff out some treats and to find their own treats in a snuffle mat. You can also play hide and seek with your dog and hide some treats around the house and ask them to sniff around some things. Dogs have a very innate sense of sniffing, so sniffing will exhaust them a lot and it's a good way of dispensing energy for them. If you have some puzzles at home or, or some sort of treat puzzles, they call them, 
those are really good to keep your dog mentally stimulated as well. Just make sure that it's something safe and that you keep supervising them when they are playing with something new or playing just in general. Just make sure that you keep an eye out on them just in case something happens. And of course, just keep playing any games that you know your dog loves. For Milton, as I mentioned, it's the ball, but Herky loves to play boxing. So she loves her oven. <laughs> she loves to play with her oven mitts. And this really triggers her to play and to exhaust a lot of energy. So she, we love to play with this. She also loves to play like, we'll call that game peekaboo. So when we play peekaboo with her on the bed, she goes crazy. So that's a great way. Crazy. So that's a great way of her spending her energy. <laughs> Another very important thing that you can do while you stay at home with your dog is to have a spa day for them. I always say that it's important to clean your pet at least once a month when you're at home and to clean their ears at least once a week, to clean their teeth on the daily and to brush them on the daily. So that's a thing that you can do with your dog, just put on a movie and start combing them. I'll be inserting links of all my favorite grooming accessories and tools in the description box below. Just a reminder that everything I'm mentioning today will be available in a downloadable PDF, so make sure you check out the description box for the instructions about that. You can actually do a full day of grooming which includes a bath, a nail clipping, and combing, and ear care and eye care and teeth care and everything. So that's gonna make your pup feel really good about themselves and it's gonna make you spend a lot more time bonding with your pet. So that's an excellent thing to do and it's productive too. So I'm sure you notice a lot of people right now are baking for themselves since they're spending so much time indoors and there's no better time to do this for your dogs as well. We have a few recipes on our YouTube channel which I'll be linking links to in the description box and also in the annotations. You can make some homemade treats and some homemade cakes for your dogs and they just love it. And nothing is more comforting than some homemade goods and the same can be said about dog food. We love to make homemade treats and cakes for the girls here and there and this is the perfect opportunity to do so. Now with all this time that you have extra at home, it's the perfect opportunity to take this time and teach your dogs some new tricks. And it can be something as simple as leave it, or twirl, or sit pretty, or back up. Back up is a trick that I kind of want to teach her and Milton, so let me know if this is something you'd like to see, and I'd love to make a video on that. But aside from that, I think we have a few training videos on our channel, which I'll be including down below. But we also love Zach George's channel for some training videos, so check those out. It's a great way to bond with your dog and spend more time with them. And last but certainly not least, just don't forget to cuddle your pets. If you're normally working, they must be so thrilled that you're spending all this time with them. So don't be too cooped up, just staring at a screen. Spend some time with them, cuddle them. You can just throw on a movie and do some Netflix and chill or Disney Plus and chill with your dog. So enjoy all this time that you have at home and make sure that you make the best out of this situation. We're all in this together. We're all going through this together. Everybody's in the same situation right now and we will get through it together. So hang in there everybody.
We are here for you to connect more than ever and we will be continuing to upload more videos for you to enjoy. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified every time we upload new videos because there will be more new videos and impromptu videos just like this one. So stay safe, stay healthy you guys. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye! Good girl!